Hey everybody, hunting season's over. I broke out the fishing poles for the first time this year and it is cold, but I managed to catch three of them. I'm gonna show you how I flay them real quick. I flay them with an electric knife. There's a couple little tricks I wanna show you. There's, if you want your flays to come out nice and white, and not bloodshot, you're gonna have to bleed your catfish. And then I wanna show you a little trick on how to get the skin off the back with an electric knife. So I'm gonna jump right into it before I freeze. Bleed them, you're just gonna get you something to hang them up with, and then you're just gonna have to take the tip of the tail off. And you just hang them, give them a few minutes, all the blood will run out of them. And then you can flay them, and you'll have just the prettiest white flays you've ever seen. All right, once you've let them hang there and bleed. You're going to take your flay knife and you're going to go down to the middle right behind this fin all the way out. Just follow that, that backbone all the way out. See how white they come out there? You do the same on the other side. Now, I usually don't take the belly meat off of them until they're bigger than 10 pounds, but I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. There's not gonna be a whole lot on this one. It was only about three, but just cut him out, cut up under his gills like so. All right. I'm gonna show you how to take the skin off. This is the little trick I was wanting to show you. You're going to get started. Once you get once you get it started, you don't move your knife. You get a hold of the skin and you pull the skin out from under the flesh. And it comes off clean, see? Same with this side. Get your knife started. Pull the skin out from under the flay. There you go. Then for this belly meat, on a bigger fish there'll be more here. You do the same thing. There's a little bone here, you go behind the bone. Pull the skin out from under, and you turn it over. Start in the middle and flay that membrane off. There you go. And just take your knife and cut this rib cage up. That's what you end up with boneless, skinless catfish flays. Well, I got them all flayed. Like I said the other day, ain't nothing glamorous about it, but it sure does make for some delicious eats. I'm gonna take it in the house and wash it up and I'll show you what we end up with. There it is, ready to eat. We usually cut it up in little cubes, roll it in cornmeal and fry it up. I'll show y'all how we do that later.